Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and today I'm here to review and give my opinions on Slice and Dice, the slasher film forever documentary released from 88 films in the UK. So at this stage this is a UK only release and uh, once again Ross, Rossy Boy 19 thank you so much for sending me a copy, I really appreciate it. So I did check this out and I definitely wanted to upload this review since probably not a lot of you have had the chance to check this one out yet. As I said, it's a UK only release, so I'm sure most of you in the US and other countries um, haven't checked this one out yet, and perhaps you've never heard of it before. So, this is set up um, very similar to other horror documentaries, such as uh, Halloween, 25 Years of Terror, Never Sleep Again, His Name Was Jason, and uh, most importantly the other slasher documentary going to pieces so if you guys have seen any of those which i'm sure most of you have probably seen um, at least one of them you get the idea of how this is sort of set up so they got a bunch of people from the genre actors and directors and pretty much just had them answering a bunch of questions covering different aspects of the genre um, I've got to say, I was pretty impressed with the lineup of people involved. They had uh, Corey Fieldman, uh, Felicia Rose from Sleepaway Camp, Tom Holland, who directed Child's Play and Fright Night, Tony Todd, Adam Green, um, Toby Hooper, and uh, Patrick Lucia. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if it's not. He directed the My Bloody Valentine remake. Uh, there were a few other people, but um, those were sort of the main ones. So, good um, array of people from the genre involved with this one. Now, what did I think of the overall documentary? I've got to say, I really didn't like it too much at all, and I was very disappointed with this one. My biggest issue I had with it is it was just way too basic for its own good, uh, very uninteresting, and yeah, pretty dull. I mean, Apart from a few people involved, um, you heard some interesting things from them, but honestly I learned pretty much nothing that I didn't already know about the genre. I wasn't really expecting to learn a whole lot. Being a massive slasher fan, I pretty much know it all already. I've done a lot of research on this genre, I've read books, um, and I've also checked out the other documentary going to pieces. So I do know a lot. Um, but yeah, I really didn't learn anything and that was a shame. Um, the other issue I had with it was they really didn't focus on slasher films at all. They pretty much just talked about different aspects of the genre like um, villains, characters, um, the final heroes, you know, um, the one character that made it to the end, made it out alive. Um, they talked a little bit about some of the gore scenes from different slashes. That was probably the most interesting part. But yeah, they really did not talk too much about the actual movies themselves, which was disappointing. Um, it would have been fantastic if they'd actually focused on pretty much the majority of slasher films over the years and really delved in and talked about sort of each film. I know that would have taken a hell of a lot of time, but I felt they probably could have done that with a little bit more effort. This is, there's a little thing under the title saying the complete history of Mad Maniac movies. It's not at all. That is very deceiving. It's not even close. Um, they do cover some movies. A lot of movies are shown in clips and stuff. Um, basically they mostly talk about the more popular stuff, especially at the start of the documentary like Psycho, um, Friday the 13th, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween, um, stuff like that. And at the beginning they kind of do talk quite a bit about those films, but then it kind of goes off track and um, the people involved pretty much just talk a little bit about different aspects of the genre. So. I will say though, a lot of uh, slasher films were shown in this documentary, which was good. They didn't just show off the common stuff. Um, a lot of the sort of more obscure, less talked about slashes from the 80s were shown in clips. What they'd do is just show little bits, mostly from the trailers, 
and um, then they'd show some different death scenes or whatnot. Uh, there wasn't really any spoilers, so um, yeah, if you're worried about that, um, yeah, there was. It's not really a spoiler-heavy documentary at all. Um, the other disappointing thing is they didn't really focus too much on um, anything modern. They briefly mentioned Scream, I think, but that's as far as they went. Um, I know the golden age of the slasher is pretty much from the late 70s through to the 80s, but in saying that, you know, mainstream slashers do play a pretty big role in this genre, and there's some awesome ones, and they never even bothered to mention any of them um, in this one. I mean, they did mention the My Bloody Valentine remake a little bit, but that was pretty much it. Um, so, yeah, um, rather disappointing overall. I will say, though, there's a few positive things, though, and I will mention them. Um, they picked a good group of people to be involved with this one. Um, Corey Feldman, I probably found him to be the most interesting. He probably um, spoke the most throughout the documentary and he gave pretty interesting answers and stuff like that, so that was great. Uh, Felicia Rose from the Sleepaway Camp series, um, she was very interesting also. She talked quite a lot about her experience with Sleepaway Camp. Um, Tom Holland um, answered some pretty cool questions and talked a little bit about Child's Play. Um, and a lot of the other directors sort of just got a little bit less time on camera, but still they were interesting. So there was a pretty good mix of people involved with this one. And um, all in all, the documentary was very well put together and it had very, very good uh, presentation. They added a lot of sort of um, slasherisque um, graphics like little knives and um, bodies and stuff like that. Um, throughout the documentary just to break it up a little bit and I thought that was well done, it looked really really good. Um, so it was extremely well put together but all in all for the actual documentary it was pretty disappointing actually. I felt um, they went to all the effort to make this one and it just fell flat, you know, they could have done so much more with this and it definitely felt like a wasted opportunity to me. It's probably going to be a while now till we get another slasher documentary. You know, they don't really come around that often. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty pissed off, to be honest, because I was expecting a lot more. And I felt it should have been a lot more than it was. So, honestly, I don't really recommend this one. It's certainly nowhere near as good as Going to Pieces. Um, I definitely recommend that. But, yeah... I don't really think that this is honestly worth picking up unless you are a hardcore slasher fan. Even if you're just getting into the genre, I would personally not recommend this because honestly you're not really going to learn too much from it. And going to pieces is definitely better. So yeah, pretty disappointing to be honest, which is a shame, but it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, I'm definitely glad I own it. I am going to keep it because it is um, covering slashes and I love them. But it's definitely one that quite possibly I won't watch again. I don't know. Um, I did briefly want to mention there is quite a few extras on this one. It is a two disc set. So I'm probably going to check some of them out at some point. But uh, yeah, all in all, very disappointed with this one. I'm going to give this one a score of 2 out of 5. Um, the two points go to the people that were involved. They did get a good group of people for this one. And it was very well put together and the presentation is good. Plus there's quite a bit of special features. But um, as the documentary itself, very disappointing. Anyway, I've gone on long enough with this review. But I definitely wanted to let you guys know what I thought of this one. Um, and uh, give my recommendation or not. So obviously I don't really recommend it. It's not worth picking up, I don't think, unless you are a hardcore slasher fan or you're interested in checking out. But you've heard my review. I'm going to leave it up to you guys whether you think it is worth checking out or not. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Oh, and if you have seen this, I'm definitely keen to hear your opinions on it. And thank you for watching.